What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, thanks to Sir Zippo, we are back on his free-to-play mid-game in Nosuke account. So, we do have something else we want to try. Yes, he was an absolute god in Aspen Dungeon, getting us to death one, but we're going to continue our ways. We're going to see what we can do in Seal Land. 100% free to play no pay to win artifacts no pay to win setups period just pure old luck <laughs> so what we're gonna do um we're gonna need amon Ra's gear that's uh, that's definitely definitely something we're gonna need i think we're gonna stick with the echo of death even we are going to do a one three gear setup though so let's get him all geared up. Make sure, yep, we got that holy attack stone, which is perfect. We're going to do a 2-2-3, two, 2-2 two, two, two setup. And yeah, not bad. So the crit chance is low, not a ton of crit damage. But for free to play, it is one of the best ones you can use. Besides that, we need to figure out who to use. I know, yes, we probably could throw a Sherlock in there. And we probably could make it work. But... This one is going to be a bit of a struggle. We need... Where are you? We need what? Four more of you? Let's do four of these guys. Summon them out. All right. So, we got five of them. We're going to throw some random gear on them. <laughs> Just some any old stuff. Uh, probably looks like he has a bunch of four stars. So, let's do something like this. Four star, four star. I mean, even that will just replace with, like, a fearless armor. Can we go higher, actually? This one, I think we're going to make super tanky. So, we have zero energy artifacts, and we're going to try to make this work. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're definitely going to give it a shot. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to level you up. Sorry. I guess you got a level two uh, Terra Servant as well. So, what we're going to do is put level 3 on the ones that have the split gear with fearless armor. Because, yes, we are going to have to try to figure out a way to give them bonuses. We're going to do some weird gear setup here, I think. Yep. We're going to throw another fearless armor on. So, this one gets a 3 as well. Because these maybe can last some hits with some fearless armor. And then after that, we're just going to use whatever we have. We do have another damage reduction. That actually is good. But we're going to leave this one at at level 2. The last two here, um, probably HP block is going to be the best bet. We'll do another weird setup. And then the last one, uh, let's go with some split gear down even further. And we are going to use another one. So, we have our 100% free-to-play setup going. Monster, we have the Phoenix fully maxed out. Speed might be an issue here. We might need to put some points in speed. We might need to do that or level them up. One or the other. We do, though, have that anti-ranger, that anti-warrior, and that anti-priest. So, that works perfect for the sea land we need. So, let's give it a shot. We are on 17 so, positioning this Inosuke is going to be interesting. Because normally, you would want all the Fire Fists to take some hits. But, in this case, we can't. Because we actually want to make sure we get a ton of stuns off. We're going to try it like this. This one's probably going to be a major failure. Because chances are they're going to be too slow anyway here. Yeah, see, they don't even get their attacks off before the enemy. So that's that, 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 that no no not gonna work so first thing we can do we it's probably better if we just invest in this right here let's get them up to 30 and 29 maybe that speed is enough so i want the two level 30s as the ones that are really tanky and then the other ones we're gonna go with like level 29 stop it short just so we can differentiate. But hopefully this gives enough speed. If not, we might have to... Ugh. Okay, so everybody's going to 30 because Barry's already messed it up. And then the OCD is going to kick in. So <laughs> let's see if level 30 is enough for all of them. 
Looks good. Let's give it another attempt. We do have reset coming up pretty soon, so we might do some more attempts here. All right, let's give it a go. See if they're fast enough first off. Still not fast enough. So I think we're probably going to have to invest in some guild tech. I mean, not guild tech, monster tech. Or we could just level them. We could see, you know what? We could see if that works. We could just bump them up. It's not that many resources. It's actually better to not waste the monster materials. Because I feel like he's actually trying to save those monster materials for the deer. And he's not trying to upgrade the rune on the phoenix. He's just going to use the phoenix as like purely, purely PvE. Which you don't really need speed in PvE. Uh, what do we do? 50? I wonder if we should just max them out. I don't know how much of a difference that actually does. We'll try 50. See if that gives enough speed. Go, go, go. Level up, level up. We are using some promotion stones, but hey, you can always get them back anyway. So let's give it a go. I don't know the exact speed value that you do need. It's just most of the time, if you have a maxed out pet, you don't have to worry about the speed of your level ones because the pet usually gives you all the speed you need to outspeed them so yes there is a speed value in pve guys it's not that you always get to go first it's just that you're usually much much stronger and that's the case so i think i am going to just throw an skate in the back for this one let's see if this works yes it works oh no only for one of them why is only one of them faster that makes no sense what oh it does make sense. Good lord. Learning experiences here with Barry Gaming. So the first one actually has more speed because he's got this on right here. I guess we could unlock these two. I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe get a couple more points HP. Why not? I just realized that. So we are going to have to upgrade them a little bit further because they are going to need to have over 400 speed. So there we go. We don't need to level them up, but we do need to give them that evolve. Let's do that. That evolve there. 430. That should be fast enough. You, we don't need to do it on. So we're good. All right. Let's see if they can take some hits. Hopefully they can. Let's go. Full free to play. Come on. Let's see some magic here. Hopefully. A oh no so we only have two stuns to rely on that's not gonna go well for sealand 20 i don't even know it's gonna work at all you really need at least two to three energy artifacts to make this work but we're gonna try to do it budget version see the one thing i was thinking is putting a no scan like slot two so he doesn't take all the hits oh and then he's frozen so what i was thinking Doing something like this. That way, we make sure we get more stuns off. Because stunning the two uh, priests in the back line is actually really important in the second round. So, yes, he does take some big hits. But it does let us have more chances at stuns. I don't know if that's good, though. Because usually we want those unbending will shields instead. It's probably better just leaving him in slot 6. That or maybe put him in slot three. Yeah, because he's not doing enough damage there to get shields. So maybe we could pump him back one slot and see what happens. That way we at least get three of them going. He does get the active off and we do get three stuns, which is pretty big. We should get to an active, I think. I don't think we're going to die here. Big active. Ooh, didn't kill anybody, which means we're going to take too many hits. If we can kill someone right there, I think we can at least get like 17 and 18 done, which would be a huge accomplishment. And if only he could take like one more hit there. Good stuns. Granted, we, we double tapped, which isn't isn't necessarily good but we get an active maybe oh we're frozen come on we need the rng now if this doesn't work we'll come back we'll do 10 more attempts i mean we could always cheese it and just go with the sherlock <laughs> and, and actually make progress but i want to see what we can do 
completely free to play. We got to get some really good stuns here, though. Ah, not quite what we need. So we'll come back after reset. We'll get 10 more in and see what we can do. All right, guys, round two. Let's go. Let's get 10 more attempts in. Hopefully, hopefully this works out good for us. Come on, we just got to get some good RNG. There's no way to like avoid that extra damage, but we need to get three stuns here. I think if we only get two, it's not going to line up well for us because I don't think we have enough shields here. Yeah, we just really need to get those stuns off. And honestly, picking any other hero than a Fire Fist might be better. Just something that can tank one or two more hits. Oh, you all hit the same one. What is this RNG? We need three people stunned. Come on, Fire Fist. You can do this. Because the only other option is putting us back in slot two. But that means we take one, two, two extra hits, which is going to proc unbending really early. And I don't think we can afford it. We can try one, but... As you'll see, we'll proc on bending very... We'll proc it in round one, actually. All to just buy one more chance to the stun, I don't think is worth it. You know, see, there's already two layers of unbending down. But we get more stun chances, but I, I just... I don't think that's good. I don't think that lines up well for us. I think doing it this way is going to be better. Wow, instantly frozen, huh? I think this is the better way to do it. We only got one stun, which probably means we do not clear this. Oh, we need that triple stun. I guess we could use something like an Emily to try out. See what happens to an Emily that's six star. She can probably take a hit, but she will proc her passive. No, no, she still gets one shot. Doesn't even matter that she's in there. Oh, only two stuns game. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna cheat out now. We're gonna go all in full fire fist lineup. And this is why, guys, if we had these two in the front using energy in round one, it would be such a difference. Because usually those stuns would mean none of our back lines would die, which means we get three stuns in the second round as well. But yeah, I think honestly, I think having no energy literally means we're not gonna clear it. Come on. Oh, why couldn't you stun? That was so close. All right, big active, but it's way too many hits. Way too many hits. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So I think what we're going to do, just to see if we can make a little bit of progress here, let's drop one of the Fire Fists. Because no matter what... Actually, no, if we do this, this could work. It might work. He might get an active off, because I don't think he's going to die. No, he lives. Plus, we reflected a frozen. I mean, this kind of looks like this is what we need to make it work. We might actually get another active off. No. No. Okay, I was like, there's no way. Yeah, see, we just got to buy that little extra time from the stuns. And then it's like no problem to clear it. I know, I know, guys, we're copping out. But, I mean, I mean, we, we got the Sherlock. Sherlock's in there. He buys the hits we need. We got a dove even, but it doesn't matter because the dove's going to break. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we got three stun chances. Nope, nothing there. Not going to clear it with this one. It's close, close. Let's do one last attempt. See if we can get 19 done as well. Oh, I was going to say, if he doves someone else, it'd be good. If he reflects the freeze right here, it's going to be really good. Yes. All right, now let's get some stuns. Stun! Oh, no, you hit all the same ones. I mean, we're still good because we get an active, but we got to kill someone. Nope. If we don't kill, I... Oh, and then we're frozen. Okay, one last one. I really don't want to spend gems on this account. Maybe I'll refund him with a purchase. We'll see. <sighs> Sherlock, you, you got to get it. But without a Rui Scepter, it's understandable, sir. That was really good. All right, four stuns. Come on. What are you doing? No. All right. And very last attempt. We'll give it one last shot. Maybe we can get C-Land 20 done. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
course, of course, you dove the one that's going to get hit eight times. All right, please, please stop hitting the same hero over and over. All right, big active. No one died. He's going to die. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have the shields for this. Nope, definitely not. So you really got to line up the CC. It is not possible without energy artifacts. That's kind of something we did figure out here is you need those energy artifacts. It's going to be the only way you can really make it happen. So even with all this gear set up, even with damage reduction artifacts, if you don't have energy, you're not going to succeed. It's kind of what we're figuring out here. So let me just make sure we throw that gear back on that Amon Ra for him. I don't know what you had you're gonna you're gonna keep the candy cane so yeah it is what it is not too bad though i mean we did have to throw the sherlock in for for progress but it does pretty much confirm that you need at least two magic sources to make it happen completely free to play so it does does mean there is going to be some luck involved so hopefully you guys enjoy this one it is something that i'm gonna have to plan ahead for because i think we're gonna be building a free to play account in the next week guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this one and i'll see you guys next time